I'm straight. I don't come here to talk about my wife. If I wanted to talk about my wife, I'll go to a shrink, OK? OK, OK, OK. Mum, isn't it about time you and Dad had a night out for a change? James is my son. You out of your mind. James is not your son. He doesn't even remotely resemble you. He looks exactly like Stephen. All I'm asking you is that my mother can stay here, because if she can't... Fine, st- whatever. I don't care. But I really want to get get rid of Angelina. I want to bury her. I want to I want to have a ceremony. And what I really want. I want to love someone and be loved. It's just something straightforward and honest. Someone to cuddle up with and feel secure with, you know. I met someone the other night. It's much too young for me. <laughs> God, I just can't get him out of my mind. I even fantasize about him. <laughs> I'm afraid our time's up. Can I make an appointment for your next session? Yeah. Thank you. Charles, here's the card I promised. I love South Africa and am forgetting prudence. I think she belongs to the past now. I hope so. I've met the most extraordinary woman, and yes, I am in love with her. More of that later. Talk to mom and dad. Patrick. Mama? Hello, Mama. This is Ek, Anna. Oh, Cassine is Anna. How are you, Anna? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm pleased to hear it's fine with you. And you? How are you today? I'm fine. I'm just fine. You can see I'm fine. Why don't you sit? It's almost tea time. It's cake today. It's Monday. Would you really kiss me? I'm sorry. Uh, Mama, I've got some bad news. It's about me and Joseph. I know all about you, my little darling. (laughs) Shame. My little girl. My two little girls. What's her name again? Are you talking about Maria? My two little angels here. We're all angels. Even Daniel's an angel. Angels, angels. Of course that is an angel. Do you speak to Maria? If you can't forgive, you'll never be forgiven. Then you won't be an angel anymore. <laughs> Mother, (laughs) I came to see you. I don't want to discuss Maria and angels. What's on your mind? You look very, very unhappy. You must forget about Jonathan. I know money's important and all that. But love is important too. So Maria has the love. You have the money. (laughs) You can't take the money with you. There's a chance you can take the love with you. (laughs) It's tea time now, Mother. And you're getting cake today. I'll try and come and see you next week. You can't take the money with you. (laughs) Anna. Maria. How are you? I'm fine. What are you doing here? I came to visit Mother. Oh, well, I haven't seen you here in six years. Actually, uh, I come and visit her once a week. Oh. How's Joseph? He's fine. How's Jonathan? Great. She's not well today. She keeps talking about angels. Jonathan. 
of mine. Mm. We'll do it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I don't want to talk about life in general. It makes me sick. My whole life is something to be sick about. God gave me a very rotten deal. Anas? Anna and I? Are no. we part of this rotten deal? No. No, no. No, you went. That wasn't a rotten deal. Out of the darkness of my life, there came those two tiny lights that brought light into the darkness of my soul. But Maria, God will never forgive you. Forgive me? For taking Jonathan away from Anna. She loved him so she will never forget him. Mother, we are meant to be together. Our names are written on the heavenly scrolls. Jonathan never loved Anna. I'm a mental case. Some doctors call it something worse. But I see things. I can see right and I can see wrong. And you, your name and, and Jonathan's name is it's not on that scroll. I have to go. Next time you come, we must talk about the light, the bright light, the eternal light. Goodbye, Mother. Thank you. Thank you for... Remember the light? It can take you away to a better place. Thank you for coming. Goodbye, my angel. Goodbye. Not for me, thanks. A walk here can mean a thousand miles. Where is Anna, anyway? Oh, she went to the shops to do something. Come, I want to show you something. What? Got a new horse. Oh, hello. There's an urgent message for you. This guy's been trying to get hold of you, if you'll pardon the expression, all day. Says it's very important. I had to see a client. Yes, I did tell him that, but I do think you should phone him back. Who is it? Um, let's go clubbing. I'm not phoning that guy. I don't judge people. I don't care what their sexual preferences are. Please believe me when I tell you that you are making a big mistake. Oh. Oh. Madam's very tetchy today. Still, no harm in being friendly, is there? Besides, methinks the lady doth protest too much. Hi. Um, listen, I'd really like to see you again before I go off to the National Park. Thought you said you were leaving tomorrow. 
Uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, so I was wondering if maybe we could have lunch later on this afternoon? I, I don't know. I'm expecting my mother-in-law this afternoon, later on. Oh, I see. Um, then what about now? Right now, lunch. And please don't say no. <laughs> Miss Micaiah, there's no need for that. You're marvellous as you are. Thank you, sir. Come in. You have reached the voice mailbox of two two nine one nine zero oh, seven. Magda, this is Joseph. Please don't make this any more impossible for me. I need to speak to you. It's important. I shouldn't drink too much wine. My mother-in-law is staying with me and the children. Why is she staying with you and not with your husband? Well, at the moment, he's living in a hotel. I suppose I did it for the children, really. She is their grandmother, after all, and the only grandmother they'll ever know. You know, I, I can't believe your husband left you for another woman. <laughs> believe it. Well, he must be out of his mind. You're so beautiful. You could be the reason for me not leaving South Africa. You're welcome to stay. <laughs> You were really beautiful, Ma. <laughs> Linda, are you home early? I'm being serious. You were really beautiful. Were? I was beautiful. Mother, you keep on watching this tape over and over. Why? Can't expect to look like you did, I don't know, a long time ago. People grow old and... You growing older. Gracefully. Listen. Can I, can I ask you a question? It's kind of difficult for me. Sure, go ahead. Have, have I aged well or not? <laughs> yes. Yes, you have. Don't lie to me, Linda. You never lied to me. Do you think I look older than your father? Mother... Men always look younger. And, well, yes, Dad does look younger. I'm sorry, Mom. I didn't mean to, to say that, but... Maybe you should go for more facials or... consider a facelift. You can always see when someone has had a facelift. Besides, your father wouldn't even notice. I don't think he'd care. No, I would never do it. Mother, I'd love to chat, but you know what? I've got to play some tennis today, so okay. I'll see you later. Yeah, yeah, I know. Go. Do you know why I love this place? It's the core of avenues. I'm obsessed with avenues. I suppose life is a series of avenues. I mean, I could choose that one. Or that one. But no, 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 no. I choose that one. Perhaps I should get back to the core of my own being and choose that one.
choose another avenue. Why are you looking at me like that? Jonathan, what are you doing? No, stop it. I look, I look awful. Go away. Jonathan, go away. Do you think you made the right choice? Well, what do you mean, Jonathan? Do you think you made the right choice? You know, with me. Well, did you make the right choice? I love it when you answer a question with a question. I was just wondering. That's wondering? It. Well, uh, since when have you been wondering? Since the day we got together. Since the day we. Uh, well, what exactly are you saying? Well, d d does that mean you still think of you still think of Anna? Do you Anna. still think of Anna? Anna. Do you still think of Anna? Don't put words in my mouth, Maria. I'm just being honest with you. That's all. You know, in that case, you can just you can just leave. And cut. No, oh, excellent. I just got a brilliant performance from you, honey. You mean you just... Yeah, I just wanted to see you perform. You know, get you on film. Well, I'm not an actress. <laughs> I'm, just a, I'm just a journalist. Well, I thought you did very well. <sighs> well, I guess you just want your big break. Yeah. Well, you'll get it. Just don't practice on me. I saw my mother today. Oh, how is she? She said some pretty weird things. Like what? Well, she blamed me for taking you away from Anna. And, and then she said that our names are not written on the heavenly scrolls and that, that you love Anna and Anna loves you. And oh. Did she really say that? I don't exactly believe in all of that, do you? Of course not. Do you believe not. it's true? Of course not. I'm just, I'm just curious, that's all. Jonathan, we've been together for six years now. We, we meant to be together. We love each other, don't we? Of course. Of course we do. <sighs> okay, well, I'll go make dinner. Mwah. How was your stay in London? something desperately wrong with your sister. Your Aunt Julia thinks she might be... she might be a manic depressive. When is Angela coming back? A couple of months. She and Julia are off to the south of France and then Greece, I think. Cheering each other up, I see. And you, Joseph? How are things with you? Actually, not so good. What's the matter? There's nothing wrong with Lawrence International, is there? No. What then? It's my marriage. I've left Anna. Joseph. Why? What's the matter? It's... It's just that your first marriage was... was also... There was nothing wrong with my first marriage. I'm very pleased to hear it. I was always under the impression that the car accident was... I don't believe what I'm hearing. I don't want to talk about this now. Well, we will talk about it again. I am your mother and on the board of directors. Yes, mother. You are. Well, I think these gates are hideous, Joseph. They might be a Jean de Mock design, but I really can't bear. Mrs. Moser, a premature labor. Please give her antibiotics. Of maintaining uh, one gram six hourly IVR. Someone, someone, I've got the job. I've got the job. You got the job. Yes. 
are so great. We must celebrate tonight. Oh, I don't know what to do. Gosh, let me just finish this, okay? Um, Trisha, uh, Celestone, so spend stack, please, and repeat in 24 hours, okay? Great. I'll see you right now. I have a job with Lawrence International. Thank you, darling. Good day, Mrs. Lawrence. Hey, Oma. How are you? Hello, Catherine. Anna, you look... You look fabulous, as always. Thank you, my dear. Ah, I was 20 then, you know. I know, you've told me. Yes, Will, uh, I have to go now. I'll meet you for lunch tomorrow. Yes, of course, you have to leave. Well, I look forward to tomorrow. I'm sorry to hear about your problems. We can discuss it later. There's nothing to discuss. It was Joseph's idea. There's a great deal to discuss. This matter involves my grandchildren. I'm so pleased you keep the house the way it always was. You know, tradition has always been part of my family. at the time, I want you to call this number. He's a doctor. He'll help you. And take this money. Hello there. Hi. Ma, we have some wonderful news for you today. I have a job. A very good job. With great backs. That's nice. We have to celebrate. I'll get the glasses. Mama, you don't seem very excited. No, I'm fine. I'm happy. As long as you're happy, I'm fine. Yeah, champagne for the Makaya family. No, Mother Dearest, wouldn't you rather have some French champagne? No. No champagne for me. I'll have my gin and tonic. Fun and gumbo tea. Oh, Ma. What's wrong today, you know? You don't look happy, actually. Ma, we are Carla. Yini, what's wrong? I'm crying because I'm so happy for you. Both of you have done well. You are a doctor. And now you have a good job with Lawrence. International. 